Well, it's 8.30. We got a half hour to go. The street is not being closed today, so we all have to gather inside the little compound that we set up as the best of it. I'll take a spin through here in a minute. I'm lucky in one respect. The best of it, the pig. I get to keep my truck right there. I didn't bring my big table today. I brought my little table. But I'm traveling kind of light today. The pie guy. Love it. Absolutely. Love it. Full quivers getting their grill ready. They use a big grill here. Coffee guy. Mr. Brad, how we doing? Good morning, sir. You guys doing today? Excellent. Vegetables. I forget spices of some sort. Doggies. Flowers. Plants. And then, like I said, the street is closed. I mean, not closed. They can't close it. We got to be here, inside here for three weeks. Something going on in the convention center. During the summer, there's not much going on. They let us close the street, as it was, you know, Saturday before last. However, stand by. How you doing? Jimmy, how you doing, buddy? This is Max. How are we doing today? Pickles. Hey, more vegetables. I like it. Okay, that's a wrap up. I, I mean, I guess might be a couple more vendors coming in, but I don't know for sure. Well, it's nine. They're rolling it in here. A lot of people. Look at this right here. It's driving me crazy. Not on my diet. Oh my god. Stand by. Maybe we'll have some customers. Well, we got our first customer. Six knives. One global. Porsche 301. I can say I've never seen one of these before. I got a feeling it's a uh, Ustoff, Global Ustoff, and I presume a Hankel. All right, I got to get to work. A half hour to flick their thickets fleas in here now. A half hour later, they're jammed in here now. <laughs> There's not many nice people. That's a occurrence I've noticed here. If it's not in a community like the other two I work, it's uh, not as many knives. 
I had a fellow just came by and said, oh, I'm glad you're here. I'm going home to get my knives. I'll be back in a few minutes. I said, okay, my friend. I'll be waiting for you. A lot of dogs here today. There's a brand new one right there. Look at his feet on it. Good gracious, he'll be a big monster. Customer number two, Wustoff Santuco and a Cutco Para. This baby is in the, I don't know what, if it's just old or what, you probably can't see him, but this baby has got some terrible chips on it. See it right there? I know you can see that great big fat one right there. Maybe you can't with this camera. Anyway, I'll see you. Number three, Cleaver, two Chinas. Number four just rolled in. A nice bench made. I mean, Spotico. I don't know where I got bench made from that. The handle threw me off. Okay, she needs a little cleanup. She said it's got some sticky stuff on the blade. Alrighty. Customer number five's got uh, th three Wolfstalls and a Fisker. You just never know what you're going to get. Eleven o'clock. I told the guy I couldn't sharpen this here because it needed too much cleanup, and you can see the blade is chipped up terrible. I got a guy cooking sausages right there, so I didn't want to cause any spark to fly and this and that. There's a cookie guy over there, but that wouldn't hurt him. But, you know, it just needs more work than I'm going to do to it here. He said it was in no hurry. Get it back to him Monday or Tuesday. I said, no problem. So I'll give you, this is the before, I'll give you the after later. This car. Now, I don't know if many of y'all follow Wrangler Star, that home prepper from, I think he's in Oregon, maybe in Washington. Three, four, maybe five years ago, we were hunting at the cave of Edmond Dantes. And when we walk into the water, we see this sticking up straight out of the water as you see it. So I clean it up, sharpen it, put it in the garage. I'm watching Wrangler Star one day and I said, you know, I think I'll send that thing to Wrangler Star. He needs a nice little fist car like this. So I packaged it up and sent it to him. Well, about two or three weeks later, he's at home chopping some firewood. He chops a lot of fire with this guy. And his sister comes over and he's showing her how to split firewood inside of rubber tires. They got the wood sticking up, you know, and they're splitting it. So she picks up this exact little ax that I sent him. She whacks it into one of these pieces of lumber, you know, tree cut down. And she's trying to get it out, and I can't remember exactly what happens, but the, the axe flies out backwards. This end hits her right in the middle of her mouth, knocks out two of her teeth. And you can see that on video. I mean, live, if you wanted to go back to a couple of years to Wrangler Star. I felt so sorry for her. <laughs> Busted her lip all open. She had to have plastic surgery. It was terrible. You just never know. Well, customer number six has got three nice shoes. Santuco, a baby Santuco, and I call it a slicer utility. Oh no, that's not a... Let me look at this again. Yeah, it's a Santuco, it's just got a different, I mean, Sean, it's just got a different handle on it. All righty, let's go to work. Well, I'm kicked back in the recliner finally. Me and my leader and the carnivores are eating at supper. 
I don't know where the rest of them are. Who? Mama? Hey, Boo Boo! You better get in here, Boo Boo. Come on. Uh oh. That's big. Alpha. Come on in here, Indian. Get in your bed. Yeah, you got your little special beds in here. Get out. Sit down. Pickle Jack. Come in, circus train dog. There you come, circus train. Yeah, Big Old Jack. You better sit down, Big Old Jack. You get old and tired. That's right. Yeah, you can sit down right here next to me on your nice bed. Indian, what's up? Look at Alpha over there. Look at her. She's cleaning up. I had supper. Now I'm having a bath. I'm going to get myself cleaned up for a date. <laughs> That's it. I'll see you tomorrow for a spin, I hope. <coughs> what does that mean? We already played ball. We can't be playing ball now. Oh, I stopped scratching you. I'm so sorry. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you later.